Dr. Thomas Cole here from Lighthawk FPS. I am here today to give you what science says about how long you should be practicing. But I can't do it alone, Colonel. I need your help. Let's do it. Before we talk about overall practice duration, we should probably talk about how different tasks require different amounts of practice. In this study, they took a total of 179 participants and split them into four groups. One group had 30 minutes of training, one had 15 minutes of training, one had 30 minutes of training with a 30 minute break in between, and one had 30 minutes of training with six five minute breaks. The task they had them train on was distinguishing between two 15 millisecond tones of different frequencies. Which one was higher, which one was lower. What they found was pretty interesting. The 30 minute training group and the 30 minute training group with six five minute breaks ended up making the same progress in learning. The 15 minute training group and the 30 minute training group with a 30 minute break in the middle both didn't get any better. They remained the same and they didn't get any better than the control group who hadn't trained at all. The study theorizes that these participants didn't meet the threshold for learning. That's important because even though this task isn't a motor task like aiming, it does shed some light on how long we should be training. In another task, this one dealing with memorization of facts, the researchers found that 15 trials resulted in no better performance than 20 or 30 trials. Effectively, that extra time was wasted. The difference here is the complexity of the task. What do I do? What do I do? In the name of God, you've got to tell me! Many studies have shown that more complex tasks benefit more from blocked practice, where you do the same thing over and over and over again while simpler tasks benefit more from random practice, where you mix up a bunch of different tasks or vary the task you are performing. One theory that seems to make sense is that what makes the complex task complex is subjective. What's demanding for you won't be demanding for someone who is already really good at the task. Complex tasks become simple with practice. So if we take all that information together, we can make a framework for how we approach different tasks. New tasks that are hard for us will benefit more from longer practice periods and doing them over and over again. Tasks that we've had a lot of experience with will probably benefit from variations or mixing with other tasks. Just remember this, if something is hard and you feel like you need more time on it, take it. If something is easy, maybe it's time to mix it up. But how long should I practice each day now that I know this? That's a good question and it depends on how long you can stay focused and motivated to put in high quality deliberate practice. Several studies looking at practice durations from one to eight hours per day have found that there is little use in practicing more than four hours a day, with diminishing returns starting after two hours per day. Olympic athletes often practice in the morning, rest or nap for lunch, and then practice again in the evening. And this study came to the conclusion that practice over subsequent days was more important than the practice duration. So if you want to max out your training, aiming for four hours a day would probably be the way to do it. The most efficient use of time though, it may make more sense just to practice for a high quality two hours. It all depends on the level you want to get to and how long you can keep deliberate practicing. Expert musicians in this study practice anywhere from 19 to 30 hours per week. That's two hours and 45 minutes a day to four hours and 20 minutes a day. A pretty intense schedule by most people's definitions. Now, when it comes to aiming, you'll be making progress as long as you're doing enough per day to reach that learning threshold. Experts don't start off practicing for that long. They build up to it over time. To summarize based on this information, and this is my personal interpretation, the best training regimen would be one that focuses on complex and simple tasks in different ways with two hour training sessions at different parts of the day where you can give the training your full focus. Well, it's time for me to get back to training. This has been Tomahawk Cole for Lighthawk FPS. If you're not already part of the Discord, feel free to stop by and say hi, but for now, bye. Mini games targets go through a deceleration. Good response here. Isn't going to be exactly the same for you.